Gone is good. Brethren, I pray that you would prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospers. This is praying for hurting world with Father Michael's ministries. This is Father Michael's ministries, and this is what we believe. And now, from prosperity preaching, from Father Michael. Hello, my people. Hello, my children. Hello, my parishioners. This is Father Michael of Father Michael's Ministries. Ah, coming to you on this great day. My apologies, as usual, as I haven't podcast in a bit. As has this life gets to everyone, as this life does. Well, today, I would like to preach and teach a bit about prosperity. Okay. Now, well, there's a, some people, you know, out there that, you know, believe that, you know, there are many... There might so many big name uh, ministers out there that teach nothing but prosperity and no hellfire and brimstone. Well, that's wrong, man, because there's both. But, and some people, but my point really is on that part is like, you know, uh, people that who do pay, pay, excuse me, pay for prosperity as a mouthful, that I'm, um, I, I, it's, it's, it's something wrong for that. It's something wrong with praying for it. And it's nothing wrong to... There's nothing wrong if you was to pray to, you know, our Father God, you know. And perhaps you was asking you know, to uh, raise in your job or, a, you know, or a, or um, uh, another kind of a job that you had been searching for, you know, and trying to get very hard, you know. Perhaps... It's one of those kind of jobs. It's either people die or they or they retire them on purpose. It's one of them those kind of jobs. And a lot of you out there know exactly what I'm talking about. So, but you know, it, it really is. It, you know, people to say that it is wrong to pray for prosperity because there's, there's it, it's not that wrong to pray for it. I mean, you know, there, there's nothing wrong with uh, people wanting to have, you know, you know, food on the table and a roof over their head, and you know, and, and these things. But that's what you know, that's what it, that's what it takes. You know, it takes money to do all these things. Yeah, you know, it takes money. It takes money for the food, rent, you know, all whatever, mortgage, putting this clothes on your own backs and on your kids' backs, and you know, it's things like that. And that's not considering if they're into anything, into the schools, you know, you have to sometimes pay for that, too. 
even in the United States, but that's just the way it is. But um, uh, there's you know, there's nothing wrong with praying to God to help you out financially. There uh, there is nothing wrong, you know, there, because God is the one who has the money. Actually, God is the one who controls the money. All right, mankind has the money. Yes, and all that we all have our different. Uh, veritables that we have, you know, in all of our different countries in this world, but, um, uh, yeah, a lot of times it just comes down to brass taxes, too, you know, sometimes, you know, I, there's a lot of people that, um, uh, you know, that, you know, that pray for prosperity, and they, they really are in a jam, you know, you know, they, you know, they may be like a, a whole bunch of you know, people and uh, children and such like that, living in a little itty bitty motel room somewhere. I mean, that has happened and that does happen. So, I mean, I'd be definitely want to pray to give me a better place than that and everything. So, I mean, and um, uh, so, I mean, I mean, if people want to really believe that prosperity is wrong, well, you can believe that's wrong if you want to. If it's a sin to you, it is a sin to you. But there's nothing wrong with it. You know, that, that's, that's like I said, what do you think makes the world go round? It's money. You know, and if you don't have that money, well, you just don't get whatever you want. And it's kind of like... Um, like I said, God owns the money, and if you know you're not, if you're struggling or you're with your family or whatever, pray to God for money. But why not? There's no reason not to. You can pray for Him anything you want to. As a matter of fact, see, we have a God that we can pray to, and you know, through His Son Jesus Christ, though, it's the only way we can actually talk to Him. It's through Jesus Christ. We're saying in Jesus' name. It has to be that way. But we can but we can pray for anything we want. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, as long as it's of a holy type of a situation, you know, or something positive, you know, nothing negative. We're not playing I'm not playing that game. So I'm uh like I've always said, you know, if, if you if if you, if you want to if you want to you know put all your energies into you know the negative, you're going to get the negative straight back. You put your pot your energies into the positive, positive you will get back. And that's just the way it works. So, um, uh, but praise praise the Lord that I'm. Uh, that definitely, well, there's one minister at least out there that says there's nothing wrong with preaching prosperity, but however, they should be they should be preaching uh, hellfire and brimstone at the same time, which they don't. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I guess to a lot to a lot of those people that you know that are pre, that do preach nothing but prosperity. Oh yes, they have their big coliseums and they have their you know, all these millions and millions and millions of dollars and stuff like that to do whatever. And, you know, hey, that's great, you know. I mean, you know, they help people. They're good Christian people, too, you know. I respect the office and everything. But, however, a lot of these prosperity preachers, you know, they even admit it. That they do not preach about hell at all. Or burning or fire and, and, and forever and ever, you know, and torment. They don't preach about that. Well, let me tell you something about the hell is hell is hell is real. The devil's real. He's a, he's he's real. He's real. So are his demons. You know, just as God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit are real, and so is his, and so is his angels. So you know, so um, uh, that's uh, you know, so I'm. Um, uh, well, I hope today I have, uh, you know, kind of brought to light, you know, you know what I would seriously, you know, believe, um, and um, uh, as far as prosperity is concerned. But I guess, that if, if speaking in a much more prosperous way, 
you know, I'm gonna, yeah, this is, this is prosperous. If a person becomes saved, that means, that means they're going to heaven. Okay, you know, and then after they're baptized and so forth and so on, but, like I said, unless, of course, this, um, yeah, I mean, let, I, I mean, let's court, you know, something gets them or something like that. But, um, uh, I just, uh, be, um, I've, um, heard a few things about them saying that the COVID 19's back and it's double worse. And I understand, you know, I, you know, that's what I used to call the devil's virus, and I thought it was gone. And previous options, so it may be back. I and mean, I'm not sure how big of a scale, but it's back. It's worse. So guess what? That means here we go again. But we may be going through the same thing we went through. I can't believe we'd have to go through all that again. All the social distancing, closing down all the restaurants and the clubs and the, you know, I mean, I can say the clubs because if you're old enough, go to a club. Go to a club. Keep your drinking in moderation, whatever other substances you might use. You know, always arrive alive, you know, you know, don't die. You know, you don't want to kill anybody else and, and go to prison for, um, uh, uh, for, um, uh, you know, for, you know, involuntary manslaughter. So, um... But I'm telling you, but at least, you know, we have the prosperity that Jesus already paid the price for our sins on the cross. We have that prosperity. You know, he was cursed on that tree, as it said. I mean, you know, the son of the living God, the son of the actual living God. Coming to the earth and going on with his ministry as long as he did and... I think it was about three years because they had to start at 30 because in back in the days of Judaism, you had to be at least 30 before they considered you to be a grown enough adult to be able to, you know, really teach anything, uh, you know, about the, you know, about, you know, you know, the Torah, you know, back in those days and stuff like that. But, um, uh, it, but, um, uh, that's the way it was, but. Now, of course, you know, we have for over 2,000 years now, but we have a Savior named Jesus Christ. You know, I mean, his name is Jesus, okay? Christ means the anointed one, in, in, okay? So, uh, you know, and um, uh, he died, you know, a very, very cruel death on the cross for us. He really did. I mean, you know, the literal Son of God died for us. I mean, just so. You know, whether we've sinned and we've backslidden and we're not right with God or we never was a Christian in the beginning with or anyone else wasn't. So let me ask you tonight, folks. I mean, you know, would you, if you woke up, you know, and I mean, so do you know, actually know if you're going to wake up tomorrow? Do you actually know you're going to wake up tomorrow? Many, I'm sure, if you're going to be honest with yourselves, you say, no, you really don't. But I'm just saying to you, you know, everyone, you must be a Christian. You have to be a Christian. And it's easy to do. Because if you're not a Christian, you're going to go to hell and you're going to burn in hell, fire and brimstone for an eternity. Whereas, all you have to do is believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. No man. So therefore, any of these other prophets or what are they, you know, these other um, holy men or wise men or whatever you want to call them, no, it's only through Jesus Christ that you get to go to heaven. Only him, and that's it. Nobody else. No one else. Only Jesus himself. So since he paid that price for us on the cross and he died... And went to hell for three days and came back. And then I sits at the right hand of the Father. And um, uh, being saved also means that, you know, you have a personal relationship with Jesus. How is that? Well, that would be through reading the Word of God. If you don't know where to start, start in the book of John. 
if you get a English version Bible and you uh, you're not really familiar with the Bible, my suggestion would be a, a new international version NIV that um, has international English in it. You know that because if there's anybody out there you've r never really read the Bible as kind of like the old King James is. It's not going to make a whole lot of sense to you, all that the thou thus thine hither dither whither and all that. But it's it really it's 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 not. But yeah, it start off in the Book of John. It's the longest book in the Gospels. I, I believe I believe that'll help. It'll do you, it'll do you a bit of good or a lot. It'll do you a world good, should I say? But I'm still calling to you people out there. I mean, are you saved? Honestly, honestly, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? Or, or, or have you backslidden? Or have you fallen into a sin? Or some kind of sin that's going to take you straight to hell? If you die or perhaps get murdered even? I don't know. I know I'm talking to somebody out there. I'm talking to somebody out there. You're a very rough and, and person now, and I understand this. From what the Holy Spirit is telling me, but your soul is required of you this night. I suggest that you, I suggest that you get your, your, make your peace with the Lord, whoever you are, because this Holy Spirit just puts an unction upon me to tell that. So that's all I'm going to say about that. That normally doesn't happen, honestly. But especially during the altar call. But uh, it's kind of like you know. I, if, if, if you haven't uh, already became a Christian, and, or if you backslidden and, and, you know, you want to go to heaven, you don't want to go to hell, you don't want to burn forever, where you can be in heaven and having a peaceful, wonderful existence, you know, for eternity, rather than being burning in fire for an eternity, um, I choose heaven myself. And um, because, you know, that it, 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 you're deceived that, that the, that the devil is going to be ruling hell when it's all over with, or this, that, and other, and he's going to do all that now. He's going to be he's going to be burning along with us too, you know, us the people of yeah, should I say the humans of whoever of whoever goes down there and is you know doomed like him, and he has he's, he's not going to have his power. He's going to be he's, he's going to be just. That's the same as a, the regular human being. He just, he'll lose his powers. But, I mean, so will all them demons. And they know that. They know their time's short. And they're waiting for you, too. They don't want you to get saved. They're stopping you from getting saved. They're stopping you somehow. But I say, in Jesus' name, I break that. In Jesus' name, I break that. All right. Now, if any of you out there who are not saved and you want to get saved... I um, uh, hey, uh, made a prayer that short and speaks volumes. And if you would, if you'd like to get saved, or if you have been, or if you have backslidden, you know, please, you know, if you can safely do so, close your close your eyes and pray, pray this prayer with me. And say, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Forgive me of my sins in word, thought, and deed. And thank you for saving me from the fires of hell. In Jesus' holy and precious name, amen. Praise the Lord. Well, if that's the first time you prayed that prayer with me, you are a Christian now. Welcome to the world of Christianity. Father Michael loves all of you. And, of course, you know, um, uh, have any of you had backslidden and he prayed that prayer or you're back with the Lord now stay with the Lord and um, uh, and, uh, and I would just like to ask all of you out there that if you like my podcast you know please you know download what I download it it's or, or what how are you um, whatever uh, particular podcast you use whatever you know you use that I'm on uh, and to perhaps, you know, give it to where so someone else can hear it, that maybe their life's going in the gutter, maybe they're going to die pretty soon, maybe they're just going to get killed. And they need to learn, they need to at least learn how to get saved, you know, because that's just, that's just definitely the way it is. So, um, uh, 
that so much. Uh, that's true, and like I say, you always get yourself in a Bible-based church. Make sure you check this church out. And find out that they don't get all uh, shunned and pe- shunning people because perhaps maybe they smoke tobacco. Oh, really big deal. People are smoking tobacco. You know, I mean, it's not good for you or nothing. I know that, but... You know, people shouldn't shun them because then those people think the people in the church are holier than them. And then they get treated that way and they hate them and then they hate God. And that's exactly what the, that's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to hate God. He don't want you to love God or Jesus or the Holy Spirit. He don't want you to love them. He wants you to hate them. He wants you to love him. The devil wants you to love him. But from uh, your particular type of or anyone else's uh, reward for that is zero. (laughs) So, uh, there you go on that. All right, now, now we're going to come towards the end of the times and stuff to whereas I always grant, I always always, uh, give everyone a blessing, and it can be prosperity if that's what you want. And I'm going to go ahead and give the blessing. I'm going to give five seconds to it and uh, you can ask for anything you want positive let's see okay and I do this all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen we certainly hope that you enjoyed the Bible preaching and Bible teaching of Father Michael and Father Michael's ministries if you like what you hear, please subscribe and become a part of the Praying for Hurting World community. This is Father Michael's ministry saying until next time, take care and God bless you.